What is up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video and this time we're taking a look at our boy DSP's podcast where of course he's talking about memberships and hitting the goal of 550 to have a super duper event where you get to pay him more money. Let's hear what he has to say on this. Anyway, I certainly hope that you will uh, take a look at the short and enjoy it and let me know what you think. Now, one other thing before we get to a little bit of game news and then Q&A. Um, so, we have a member's goal for this month of 550 members. It is now February 5th. We have made zero progress with members this month. Zero. We started the month around 450, 460. We're currently at 460, five days into the month. Um, yeah, it's a, li it's a little concerning. But maybe we'll actually see some active progress when I start Hogwarts Legacy. I don't know. Uh, usually, new games bring in support. And maybe so we'll have some people, have so many people watching Hogwarts Legacy that people might think, oh, good time for a member bomb or something like that, right? But for the most part, um, you know, our goal for this month, I think, is something interesting. Are you aware of what it is? It is the Retro Games Challenge. If we hit our 550 members goal this month, by the end of the month, uh, I'm going to do a marathon where we're playing retro games, including Ninja Gaiden 1, where I attempt to get my revenge on the game and actually beat it. And classic Mega Man, likely Mega Man 1, 2, 3, you know, those games. And what we're going to do is you guys are going to lay out challenges for me, much like you do when I play Warzone. And you're going to say, hey, beat this, this Robot Master stage with only two lives or beat it only with the Mega Buster or, you know, beat it within a certain amount of time. And it's my job to try to reach those challenges. And you guys can then see if I'm going to do it or not. Similarly to how I do with Warzone, you know, can he make top 10, can he make top 5, can he get 5 kills in this run, can he kill someone with a shotgun, etc. It's kind of the same thing where I'm challenging myself to do something exciting or different or interesting, okay? As opposed to just, oh, he's just playing the game to play it. So, it's also going to be, by the way, um, retro games, which is exciting because I almost never play these kind of really old style games. So, it's something different to do in, a, in an environment... Notice the one thing he didn't say here. He didn't say that. Yeah, he talked about challenges, but he didn't talk about monetary uh, support or whatever he likes to call it. And he got snagged with his old Warzone thing when he was calling it uh, bounties and uh, him banning people that weren't paying the bounties and stuff. And of course, he's reverted back to calling now ch challenges. But uh, once he saw that he can monetize these type of streams like this, with additional funds on top of tips and so on. I knew he was going to do it, and I stated before he was going to do it with other games. So I, I guess he figured, oh, what what way to uh, make this a huge thing than do it on one of these events? So not only is he asking for people to pay for memberships, which nobody does, but let me rephrase that. Not only is he asking, asking Emil to drop uh, member bombs, you know, and pay for memberships, you know, to get to a specific goal. <clears throat> he now wants the dents to pay him to play a game. And not just to play a game. He's actually saying play a game better. So he wants to get paid for better performance. Um, isn't that the point of you streaming? To beat the game and play it as good as you can? Why are you trying to monetize this? Why are you trying to get people to say, okay, Phil, we want you to do better at this game here's a challenge and here's some money and it's pretty scummy and you're going to see this going forward until until the dents put their foot down and say okay that's enough you can't you can't be mo trying to monetize every single game, game uh, playthrough and that you know is isolated for that i did this two years ago for my birthday two years ago i did a super mario brothers challenge where i played super mario brothers 2 you guys loved it and told me it was one of your favorite events of all time and then i got kicked out of the twitch partner program for absolutely no re legal reason um, and because of that, we lost our channel points and then the whole idea fell apart. Well, here we are two years later and now we're kind of doing the same kind of challenges again. We figured out how to make it work even without channel points. So we're going to do a special event. I'm excited for it. Okay. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, Indiana says, will you accept the no safe state challenge? Yes, absolutely. Play it's not about safe states. It's not, you know? So anyway, um, I'm excited for this event. I think it's something different. It's something good for variety purposes. And I hope that you guys will consider becoming a member, uh, renewing a membership that may be expired, or gifting memberships to the channel. Okay, all this is key. And by the way, 
I should call this out. We are going to have, likely, a big membership dip come the 21st. Because we actually got a membership bomb around the 21st, 22nd of last month. Which allowed us to hit our member goal and lock into the Super Bowl event around that. You see? So if we don't hit that member's goal by around the 21st, we're going to get a, di a dip of about 50, 60 members. And it's going to set us so far back, it's likely going to be out of reach. So we basically have about two weeks left, a little over two weeks, to hit it. What does it matter when you have one whale every month uh, giving you the membership bomb? And if he doesn't hit that membership bomb, what you do is you lower the goal anyway. And then he comes in and drops the additional members that you need for the event. So there's no, there's no fooling anyone here, Phil. We know the deal. You might as well just really quit playing this stupid game and just don't even bother asking for memberships when you know that a meal is going to come in to save the day. It's happened for the last, what, four months? And I see it happen again this month. Maybe, like I said, with Hogwarts Legacy, um, <clears throat> we will actually see some increase in, in uh, support and attention. We'll find out. All right, but... I certainly hope you guys will consider becoming a member if you've been one. As you know, the features are great, right? Think of all the, the awesome features. Highlight a name in chat and comments. Uh, uh, ignoring the slow mode in the chat. You talk as much as you want. Actually, that is going away, Phil. So you can't act like that's a member perk. Uh, YouTube is actually implementing colors. So you can choose what colors you want. It's already rolling out. A lot of people have it. And uh, I think my I did a stream where, where people had it, so... Uh, that's not a perk, Phil, so please stop uh, acting like that's a perk. A crown to show how long you've been a supporter. Access to all of my many, many, many emotes here on the channel, right? Priority for special events, like nominating and voting on games for these special events. Getting priority, get your questions answered on my Q&A show, Ask the King. Like, all this stuff is great. It's tons of features, you see? So, <clears throat> please consider uh, becoming a member. It helps the channel. Helps grow, helps consistent income. The support is very appreciated. Thank you all for that. Okay? All right. Um, before we get to shout outs, we have just a little bit of gaming news that I would like to cover today. All right, that's it, folks. So he's put the whale call out there for Emil. Emil, if you don't, if you hear this, please, please come and drop a member bomb before your other member bomb expires. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.